Uche Sakandas, the PDP national chairman. The PDP said they did not loot the treasury. Well, I'm sure they know that the treasury was looted dry under their watch. Yet they decided to grandstand. This shows the holiness of the apology to Nigerians. Let's just give them a teaser with this small list. We insist that Nigeria, Nigeria was looted blind under the watch of the PDP and that the starting point in tendering an apology is for them to return the loot. It's like a robber admitting to stealing your car and apologizing, but then insisting he will still keep the car. It doesn't work that way. The PDP is an hypocrite. After all said at the press conference, Channel Television wanted to get answers from the federal government spokesperson on the issues relating to allegations of corruption in the ruling APC government. All I can tell you is that nobody in this government who is accused of corruption will not be investigated. And once investigation is done, it's completely out of the hands of government. The law will take its, its, uh, its course. As the issue of the SGF, the former DG of NIA, these cases are pending. It does like nothing is being done on this case. I think what you should do is find out what exactly is being done about those cases. Because if I remember very well, I know that action is being taken on them. The 2019 election cannot be diffused from all of these issues raised from the two frontline political parties. We also sought to know whether government is weary of some agitations and criticisms on the lips of some Nigerians on the street. Our records, our achievement is enough to win us the election. I have no doubt about that. Either in the area of fighting corruption, in the area of, of revamping the economy, or in the area of fighting security. Beyond the back and forth over the issues of corruption is the role of the citizen. Definitely, as election season approach, voters will ask critical questions amidst several issues such as huge infrastructure deficit and questions of quality of life. Indeed, 2019 will be a crucial year. Shoa Kimalui reporting for channels, television news. Welcome back. We're keeping our focus on the list that's been published, not just the first, but there's also a second tranche, which uh, was widely reported in the dailies yesterday. Today, we're joined by two gentlemen. Uh, first on my extreme right, Mr. Robert Clark, Senior Advocate of Nigeria. Always a pleasure to have you on. Good morning, sir. Cheers, my pleasure. And then we've got uh, Adetu Kumbo Mumuni, the Executive Director of Sarah. Thank you for coming in as well. It's a pleasure being here. All right, let me start with you, Chief Clark. Uh, <coughs> this list, I mean, we had the first, the second. Today we've seen some response, much as we did previously. Uh, but in the dailies today, some of them are saying, look, our names shouldn't even have been on this list. But given the fact that federal government says, look, this is based on verifiable facts and investigations will be done and where uh, perhaps they've not started, they will go in on those ones. In that context, and perhaps whichever other way you see it, do you think there's anything wrong with publishing these names? Well, in the context of the publication, there's nothing definitely wrong. Nigerians must be aware of the so-called looters, if they are looters, and if anybody feels that his name has been put there without any justification, then the whole world will be ready to listen to him. But you see, let me be frank. Enough is enough in Nigeria. We've never had the benefit of any good government since 1960. Maybe if the military had not intervened in 1966, we might be saying a different story. Because the countries all over the world today that received independence, Malaysia, Indonesia, we know where they are today. And it's because there had never been any interference by any military junta. Okay. But all our successive, successive governments in Nigeria 
have been, you know, showing the hands of looters. Buhari's first coming clearly showed the first uh, team of looters that were thrown into jail. But after that, what have we found again? From 1999, we have been enmeshed in a system of governance that allows looting. You see, looting can be done in a manner that the law will not be able to know or the law will not be able to catch up. But our system of governance in Nigeria today Which gives is the room. Presidential system? Yeah, the constitution gives room oh. to looters. When you have a minister who is in charge of the accounts of the ministry, who dictates which contract to be given out, and who dictates when money is to be paid out. When you have a governor who controls virtually all the monies in the state, and there is no control, and the perceived control, which is the House of Assembly, are under the you know, foot of the governor. So the system that we have been carrying on with from 1999 allows for looting. So the more people are shown to be looters, the better. But that does not stop the looting. It will continue until the system is changed. Nomini, you, I think Sarah issued a statement saying that the government should withdraw this list and come up with the one required by the courts. Yes. So are you, does that mean that this list does not address any issues? <coughs> Thank you very much for having me once again. The truth of the matter is that um, this is a democracy. Nigerians this, have a right to know what is going on first around them. The judgment that we are talking about was made pursuant to a case filed by Serap. In that case, we specifically requested that the federal government should, give, should make the, the comprehensive list of past and present looters to Nigerians. Publish on the day. What do you mean past and present? Because we said whatever has happened since 1999, we are not limiting it to the regime of President Goodluck well, Jonathan. Oh, not, not just that the ones that the government have recovered money from, no, no, the circumstances you, under which it was recovered? No, no, no. What happened was that government came out with an information that it had recovered so much. Mm -hmm. He never told Nigerians from whom the monies were recovered. And that was what led us to court to say, you cannot just be dropping figures with us. Let us know from whom these monies were recovered. We went to court, and the court gave judgment that Nigerians decide, deserves to know from whom these monies were recovered from. Now, the judgment was given on the 7th of July last year, and since then, nothing has happened. We met, the, a delegation from Serap, led by me, met the Attorney General, in October last year, and he said they are compiling the list. Now, if, we, if it will take eternity to comply with the judgment of a court of competent jurisdiction, then we will we'll start wondering. So you don't think this list addresses? No, no, this list, this list in a way talks, talks about looters. But we say that this list is serving a political end. The question is, does this list yes. answer your request? Does it, doesn't, it meet it, your request? It doesn't. Why? Because it is not comprehensive enough. What we see uh, with, the, with, 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 with due respect are people who are in one party. Let me just use that expression. Is it with the first list or even the second one? Both. 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 Mr. Clark, uh, I'm really wondering because uh, you alluded to a system breakdown that is uh, practically feeding corruption. And as a result, we're seeing all this theft uh, going on or looting, if you will. And you have talked about individuals who have actually looted the treasury yes. uh, on, this, on, the, on the second hand. I'm, I'm really concerned because if we have gotten to this point where we are running a system uh, in the country that breeds corruption and encourages looting, how do we trace our steps back? Do we go back to the constitution or should I say the, um, the parliamentary system? Or do we take it from where we are now, amend the constitution or change the constitution completely 